This is the Redfish Rocks Marine Reserve. On the southern coast of Oregon, just south of the small town of Port Orford, you can find this small three square mile reserve an attached marine protected area. But what makes this area so special? Well, it's actually a whole bunch of things, and it all starts with the rocks. The large rock formations provide structure for many animals and plants to attach to and live inside of. In the spring, strong winds cause nutrients from the bottom of the ocean to be driven up towards the surface in a process called seasonal upwelling. These nutrients act like a fertilizer in the shallow water. These nutrients are used by phytoplankton, which spawn in large volumes and provide the base of the food web. The nutrients are also used by many types of marine algae that grow on the rocks. Probably the most important of these is bull kelp, the world's fastest growing plant. When conditions are right, they can grow up to 10 inches or 25 centimeters in a single day. Bull kelp basically acts as the trees of an underwater forest. Feeding on the phytoplankton, you can find zooplankton, which are actually many different types of animals. They can be mycid shrimp, amphipods, larvae of larger animals, or many other species. These zooplankton provide food for tons of different animals, ranging from tiny crabs nestled in the rocks, all the way up to the giant gray whales that migrate through nearshore waters in the summer. Many animals attach themselves to the rocks, including the bright green and blue anemones. These animals stick to the rocks and catch prey such as crabs, zooplankton, or fish with their stinging tentacles. Large colonies of mussels also attach to the rocks and filter out algae from the seawater. Colorful sea stars can be found moving slowly along the rocks using their tube feet and eating the mussels and other attached creatures. In the water, small fish use rocks and kelp to hide from the larger predators in the open ocean. They can form large schools like these smelt. Of course, there are fish that eat these fish. One example is the lingcod, which lays on the bottom and ambushes fish as they pass by. And what would redfish rocks be without the redfish? Many species of rockfish can be found here, and many of them are bright red, like the vermilion rockfish. Some species of rockfish can live to be up to 150 years old. Because they live so long, they need to be protected so that they can get old enough to reproduce before they are fished. The old female fish are especially important, because they produce exponentially more offspring each year. This is only a fraction of the life that can be found in these waters not to mention the land animals that depend on marine life. Many species of birds feed on life in the ocean. Brown pelicans, seagulls, and black oyster catchers are just a few of the birds that can be found on these beaches. Altogether, these creatures create an incredible mosaic of life that needs to be protected, and that's just what the Redfish Rocks Marine Reserve is doing. Thanks for watching.